Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common question that many TypeScript developers encounter. Our viewer asks, what is the difference between generic type T and any in TypeScript? This is an important topic that can significantly impact how we write and maintain our code. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the difference between generic types and the any type in TypeScript. First, we have the function that uses any. In this function, we can pass any kind of data type. This means it accepts strings, numbers, arrays, and objects without any restrictions. Now let's look at the second function that uses a generic type T. This function is defined as follows. Here, the function is more type safe. It accepts a specific type that is determined at compile time. However, it does not accept an array directly as a type parameter. Finally, we have a third function that uses a generic type with an array. This function can accept an array of any type. In summary, while both any and generic types can accept various data types, using generics provides better type safety and performance. Function three is generally better for performance compared to function one. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In TypeScript, using a generic type T helps maintain type safety when calling methods. For example, if you create an instance of foo and use identity with T, the compiler knows the methods available on foo. If you use any, it allows any method, which can lead to errors. When you use any, it's often for a more JavaScript-like approach, where the structure of the object is unknown. This is useful when you don't have strict type definitions. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In TypeScript, everything is treated as any at runtime and compile time in JavaScript. TypeScript adds type safety during compile time. The key difference between any and a generic type T is that with T, you get compile time checks. Using any can lead to runtime errors, which are too late to catch. With generics, you can ensure that only the correct types are passed to functions. And that's it, guys. We've gone through. I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe. Really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.